guys. And my man Noah. <laughs> oh. um, and obviously we're having such a good time. <laughs> we uh, just wanted to have a chat with you all. Um, yeah, and, and take your questions and just have a chat with you guys. And yeah, so if you have any questions um, about anything, about Eurovision, about me or about pastries, um, feel free to join in and ask, ask your questions in the comments. Um, pressure due to going through the semis or are you rather excited about it um yeah so this is the second time Australia's competing in Eurovision but the first time we're actually going through the semi-finals um which will be on um on Wednesday is it Wednesday yeah Wednesday in Australia and here so um yeah I feel I feel I feel the pressure that I have to do well to get enough votes to go to the grand final. But also at the same time, I think it's good that I get to do it like most other countries. And I have to actually fight through the semis to get to the final. I think it's it's fair and it's good that we're doing that. And yeah, I hope I do well and I hope people like me enough to vote for me. Um, so yeah, if you're in Europe, please, please vote for me. I really appreciate, appreciate it if you vote for my performance. In the semi-final two. Uh, reading all the comments right now. Does having Noah with you now give you more confidence in the 
daily commitments with press and rehearsals? Definitely not. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Am I giving you confidence? I think so. <laughs> Uh, Noah just arrived two days ago or day and a half ago and yeah it feels much better to have someone someone that I love next to me and who always says nice things about me um, yeah and we've been, we've been having a good time so far um, just walking around the streets of Stockholm and yeah it's so much fun just being here with him um, What's your favorite song this year aside from yours? Uh, some of my favorite songs of Eurovision this year, I, I love the Spanish song Say Ye by Barre. I love that one. Um, I'm loving um, Lithuania's song. It's really, really catchy song. If you haven't heard it, go check it out. Um, I'm loving um, the Russian song and the performance is going to be really amazing. Um, yeah, so many. I love, um, I love Ireland song. Yeah, lots of really great songs this year. So definitely watch all of them. And yeah, what's? Tell me what's some of your favorite songs. I'd love to know. We miss you here in Australia. Oh, I miss you too. I miss everybody in Australia. I miss Damiami so much. And yeah, thanks for thinking of me. I'm reading all of your comments and all your you know great messages on my Instagram Facebook and you know um, and, and snapchat as well so thank you um, can you mention your emotional response to the stadium on the stage we saw Copenhagen and it took our breath away um, yeah, when I first saw the Eurovision stage at the Globe in Stockholm, I was like, wow, I was just blown away by how amazing it is. All the lights, the stage, the floor lights and um, everything around me was just amazing. It was, you know, nothing, I've never seen any stage like that before in real life. So it's just amazing and quite overwhelming as well. I, I wanted to cry because I was excited and terrified at the same time at how amazing um, the, the stadium was and how everybody that works on the show, there's you know, hundreds and thousands that are working on the show and on production and it's just amazing to see how professional everybody is um, just pulling all those countries together to perform. So yeah, it is a huge production and um, I think we're going to have an amazing show this year. Aussie, 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 yeah, oi, oi, oi. What is your favorite food in Stockholm? Well, I think uh, we all agree our favorite food is meatballs and lingonberries and mashed potatoes. That's our favorite. <laughs> oh, I, we never get sick of it. I've, I've had it uh, lots of times here already and we just love meatballs and also I tried the reindeer meat I'm sorry if you're vegan or something um, <laughs> I didn't mean to hurt them but um, yeah I felt bad for Santa that I tried it and yeah I think it's, it was um, it was great to experience uh, the Swedish culture and I really I enjoyed it it was actually quite lovely uh, Cheering you on from Singapore, Brenda. Yay! And she said, Hi, Noah. <laughs> Noah said, Hi, <"Hello."> Brenda. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> uh, have you. I love There's so many comments, so thanks so much. I'm reading all of them, but try, trying to choose, choose one to answer. There's so many. Yeah, I'm having so much fun. Is the song pre-recorded three times to get the shots? No, it's the song will be live 100%. Only one take for that semi-final performance. And if I get through to the final, it'll be another one shot 
to get it right. I mean, I will have rehearsals before then and I think it's really interesting. What's unique about Eurovision is that everybody kind of films all my rehearsals. So I do quite a number of rehearsals and they kind of all get filmed by everyone's cameras and they all go out on YouTube. So I, I feel quite like naked because everyone is watching all the stages. Um, but yeah, for the real thing, there will be one live performance and that's it. So, hope that goes well. Um, are you about to do other stuff in Stockholm, like performing at the Euro Club or the Fan Cafe? Definitely, I'll be performing at the Euro Club tonight. Tonight. <laughs> I, I don't even know what's today and tomorrow. Like, it's all blurry at the moment but yeah tonight we have the big opening ceremony big uh, red carpet with all the contestants in one room and then after that tonight I'll be performing at the Euro Club so uh, make sure you're watching that um, if you're here or if you're watching it through um, through YouTube yeah and then yeah I, I'm performing at the Australian party tomorrow and and at the Euro Village as well Tuesday yeah <laughs> um, I'm just reading Dami will you have plan B if you fall off the box <laughs> Yeah, my plan B is to land and prepare, I mean, pretend that I'm not hurt and not in pain. That's my plan B. <laughs> oh, and yeah, cover my parts if, I, if the skirt falls off. That's plan B. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, I hope that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna, don't even ask. Hi, I'm Ella and I'm nine. I saw you at the Royal Melbourne show. You are awesome. I love your song, Sound of Silence. Will you wear your silver dress at Eurovision? Oh, hi, Ella. Um, yeah, uh, I'm wearing a white dress, a big white dress that I love. Um, it's not the silver one that you saw on TV or in the ads. It will be uh, more bigger and better. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy my performance. <laughs> Hello from Adelaide, Dami and Noah. <clears throat> There's so many questions about how I'm going to come down from the podium. <laughs> Everyone's worried. Ooh. Ooh. Don't make me get worried. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day! Oh my gosh, yes! It's Mother's Day in Australia and yeah, I hope you all, if you're in Australia that is, I hope you all had a really great Mother's Day. Um, and yeah, my mum and both, you know, Noah's mum, they're both in Korea. And actually in Korea, it's Parents' Day, so it's they do mum, Mother's Day and Father's Day at the same time, so we kind of get that time. <laughs> no, we, we, uh, we call them and... Um, yeah, they were having good, you know, nice meals with the other children, so, um, yeah, actually my parents are flying over tomorrow, tomorrow, so I'll be celebrating Mother's Day here when they get here. Um, yeah, hope you had a good Mother's Day, and I hope, um, if I, you got her, my, the tickets to my Australian tour, which I'm going on from July to December, because I want to see you at my first Australian national tour uh, yesterday once more performing the Eurovision song and uh, X Factor songs as well as the classic Carpenters Carpenter songs from my Carpenters album. Here's the plug. <laughs> How long do you plan to stay in Sweden after Eurovision is finished? Uh, I think we're staying for another week or so to actually do some songwriting because I want to release some new songs after 
I get back to Australia. So um, yeah, that's the plan. But I hope I can get some time to just look around and really enjoy the city um, when it calms down a little bit in, and go back to normal. So yeah, that, I'm looking forward to that part as well. Oh, <laughs> say it loud. <laughs> no, one, no one wants to sing Sound of Silence for us. Do you want to hear it? I don't know if it's a good idea. <laughs> no, I don't want to make people... Just sing the chorus. <laughs> That's so mean. That's so emotional. <laughs> sing to camera. <laughs> The beat to the sound of silence. The beat to the sound of silence. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Everyone applause! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't sorry. do that again. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh, it's not too bad. <laughs> but yes, yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm getting <laughs> lots of lots of likes, lots of love hearts. People are loving it. You're, are you loving it? See, if, if I fall off the stage, no one can appear on the stage and start singing. <laughs> That's, That's plan, plan B. B. Yeah? 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 <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, lots of applause. <laughs> and, and LOLs. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, write a song with Beyond. Oh, I wish. <laughs> I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll just give him a call and I'll so I can sing uh, right with Abba. <laughs> um, what advice do you have for someone who aspires to be in Eurovision one day? Uh, I guess first thing is get a good army behind you, like the Dami army, because I feel like that's what you need in order to get here and also feel super supported and loved um, and then yeah if you're in it I guess all I can say is just well just enjoy it and um, yeah um, Guy Sebastian who was in it last year just told me it's intense but just enjoy it and now I feel like if I have to give, give advice I'll probably say the same thing just enjoy it it's crazy um, yeah, now I really know what he means. Yeah. It's 2 a.m. and I'm watching you. Oh. Um, such a sweet couple. Will you be performing with Noah? <laughs> <laughs> Martin said, go, go Noah. Noah for Eurovision in 2017. <laughs> I think he wants it. Hey, Dami Ami, if you want to campaign for next year, it's Noah. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's that's great. Thanks so much for all your questions. Um, you have been so wonderful. It's good to chat to you. I really miss all of you in Australia. And also, um, you know, it was great connecting with you in other parts of the world. Um, I hope I don't fall off the box and I hope you... I hope you, uh, I make you guys proud in Australia. I hope you're all watching. And also, if you're in Europe, I please, if you like my performance, please, please vote for me to be in the grand final. Um, I'm in semi-final too. So thank you so much, guys. Uh, do you want to say anything? Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for supporting Dami. Love you all. Yeah, we love you. We'll uh, we'll keep you posted on all our social media and um, oh, follow me on Snapchat. I only have like 400 followers. Okay. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope to see you soon. Bye.